It's Leah Remillay with GoForProPhotos.com and this is Video Friday and today we are going to talk about five tips and tricks for photographing kids. Trick number one is the Pez dispenser. These little babies are invaluable during my sessions because they help me keep the kids wanting to stay focused on the task at hand, which is great pictures. So all I've done is I've trimmed down the foot on the Pez dispenser just a little bit on one side so that I can get it to fit in my shoe mount. I use my kitchen scissors. I'm sure there's something better to use. But I use that and I can just slide these right into my shoe mount. And then as they're doing a great job during the session, they get a treat. Now there is one little thing to think about, which is little tiny hands will suddenly be doing this for every single picture. So you want to make sure that they know that you will let them know when they get one and that they will get one after a great shot. And then you just kind of remind them to bring their hands down. But for the really little ones, they might have a hard time remembering that. Tip number two would be to learn about your little clients before the session. So before the session ever happens, I've already talked to mom on the phone and I've gotten some information to learn more about her kiddos. I know what they're into, I know what ages they are, what grades they're in, what their favorite subjects might be. So this is gonna give me a foundation on where to start. So when I get to the session, I already have some ideas of what they would enjoy talking about. Tip number three, don't just jump into the session. Now I know we're super excited to get going and we're just ready and so we get there, we unload our gear and we're like bam, bam, bam. But I would like to suggest taking a little bit of time to just talk with your clients, especially those little clients. So at the start of every single session, I don't even pull out my camera right away. I just talk to the kiddos. And then eventually within about five minutes, I'll start to pick up my camera and put it around my neck. But I'm still just having a conversation and just helping them get comfortable with me so that they can feel comfortable in front of my camera. Tip number four would be punches. I didn't get many of those in my hand. So I have punches. Um, I'm just using a little cute hole punch. This one happens to be a ducky. I have hearts and I have flowers. So I punch out some paper and I put it in my pocket. Then during the session, when you're trying to get the kids to stay in one particular spot, you drop down one of these. So what used to happen is I would get them all posed and set up. I'd be so excited. I'd get to behind my camera and then they would move. So now I use these punches. I pull one out of my pocket, I drop one on the floor, and I tell them, okay, I need you to put your foot on my duck, or my flower, or my heart, whatever I have that day. And I don't want you to let him go, okay? Promise me, I really like my little duck, so keep your foot on him and don't let him go. And this way, I have enough time to get behind my camera and get the shot that I'm looking for. Tip number five is to take your time. Don't rush through the portrait session. Your clients are going to appreciate you taking the time to really get the shot right. And if it's not right, if you see something that's wrong, don't just wish you would have gotten it right. Go and fix it. Sometimes you'll notice that your sessions with people you know and are really comfortable with might be way, way better than sessions with strangers. Well, I think that part of this is because we're not worried about impressing them. So we take the time to get the shots right. Where when we're working with strangers, we get so worried about impressing them that we forget to take our time and to get it right the first time. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Video Friday and that you'll be able to take one, two, or all five of these tips and tricks and use them in your next portrait session with little ones. Until next Video Friday, I'd love to suggest that you subscribe to our YouTube page and sign up for our newsletter so that you never miss the latest and greatest that's happening at goforprophotos.com. So you're gonna, I, I wanted them to think I'm an expert, I'm perfect, but I'm not perfect. I will look at the camera and be like, ah, oh, that's awesome.